Hello, my name is Juan Carlos Delgado. I'm from the Brown Public Library and a proud MBK graduate. And I would just like to inform the members of my community about our, the library's seed library. Now you can pick these up at the atrium and you can view a collection there and request them at the reference desk. These are no cost to you. And as well as at the reference desk, you can re register for some of our programs. That'll help you connect with other gardeners in the community and help you learn more about gardening. Now, if I could introduce Liz from Pronto. Hi, thank you so much. Welcome to Pronto. Here at Pronto, we have a plethora of services. We would love for you to stop in. Here at Pronto, it's uh, located at 128 Pioneer Drive. We have Department of Social Services. We have a summer camp I'm super excited about. It starts July 10th. Any questions, call us at 631-231-8290. Today we're going to do something, Juan, super interesting, and okay. it is cauliflower pizza. So there are two versions. Clearly, we're going to show the easy way, and then we're going to show the a little bit more a hands-on, if you will. I'm not going to say it's difficult. It's just a little bit more labor. So the Cauliflower clearly is very affordable. Here you go. Um, I want to say it's about $2. So one of the things that I would do, Juan, okay. is if I didn't have a blender, I would just do something as simple as take the cauliflower and clearly wash my fingers, cut, and then I would start chopping. All right. Now, this can become a little cumbersome. So the other is to throw it inside of a blender, eat it for about maybe a minute or so or less, um, and then what you do is you're going to get a, a nice little fine um, breakdown, right? So what we're going to do with this is we have to steam it. We steam this for a good maybe 10 minutes on the stove. Or if you have a uh, microwave, you can put a little water and then you can just steam it. When you do steam it, we are going to show, which we did right here just a little earlier, this is a cheesecloth. You can use muslin. You can use any type, even a, a towel um, that you have at home. And the purpose is to remove the excess and you'll see water coming out. So you really want to squeeze it, squeeze it, get your workout in there. And here we go. Once you get that out, it should look like this. And it's a right there. What we're going to do is we're going to put it right in here. And we are going to add to this mixture one egg, just one egg. And that's the one thing I'm not going to do right this second, but you just crack the egg, put it in the mixture, and then all you're going to do is pat it. And you're going to make the entire circle in the shape of a pizza. But if you'd like, you can use other forms. You know, there are different things. Use um, whatever you prefer and whatever you have at home. You put this in the um, in the oven for a few moments. Again, if you'd like it crispier, you can do three or four minutes, sometimes a little bit longer. I don't know what appliance you're using, so that's one of the ways to get it nice and toasty, if you will. The other is that you can add, while you add the egg, you can already put some of the, the seasonings, rather. I like garlic, pre preferably fresh. Uh, it doesn't have to be this brand, but we do use different things. Again, whatever your preference. Some people like to put uh, pepper, salt, Italian seasoning. I'm big on cilantro. I do put that in my food as well. The health benefits are amazing. But cauliflower are very um, healthy, especially for people um, who are trying to watch for pre-diabetes or diabetes, it has a low uh, carbohydrate. Um, it helps you lose weight. Yes. It also helps you with like insulin levels and blood pressure. Definitely, definitely. So on once you get your crust, and I'm going to show you a very quick way. So this you can purchase in the supermarket. They are cauliflower patties. They're already done, toasted, like I said, for probably maybe a little bit, a minute if that. Um, and now what we do is we're going to put our sauce on. And again, your sauce can be flavored any way you'd like. I personally like mushrooms. Um, I don't know, Juan, if you like them. I but love mushrooms. Do you? Yes. Okay, perfect. So now we can add a little bit of this medley, which is fantastic, of vegetables. Super, super healthy for us. So and now this is great. And then we're going to put the 
all time mozzarella. So the mozzarella will sprinkle a little bit on there. If you'd like to put a little bit of the Parmesan as well, we have some of the Parmesan. It is your choice, whichever you choose. This, you can pop it into the oven again, just for a couple of minutes. I've used the air fryer and it is delicious. So we are going to actually try this one. Let's see your reaction. I want, I want to see if you like it. Um, we didn't get to toast this one, but let's see if you like it. Tell me what your thoughts are. It could be a little difficult to hold up because it's not as crispy, but you tell me what your thoughts are. All right. On three? Yes. One, two. Um, mm. Mm -mm -mm. Really, really good. You can we taste hope, the cheese. Right? The blend, we hope right? that you try it. Make <laughs> it at home. It is so much more affordable. It's quick. It's easy. It's healthy. That's the most important thing. And then we want to top it off with, instead of soda, how about if we drink some of this amazing lime water that has literally overnight, um, stayed overnight in the fridge with a little bit of leaves, of peppermint leaves. Super, super healthy, helpful. Stay away from the, the, the sugar, which is super, super harmful for our teeth and our brain. This is the way to go. High vitamin C. This pizza is amazing, as we said before. Some of the benefits. Would you like to share some of those benefits? Sure. I know you said we can lose weight, potentially. It and helps us. also lower the risk of heart disease. Awesome. And the body will begin to use fat for energy instead of carbohydrates and sugar. That is fantastic. Super important. So we hope that you consider making this amazing pizza because again, it is affordable and you're making it. And kids love this if they try it, right? So mom, dad, uh, aunt, uncle, please make sure you try it. It is super easy and very affordable. Um, Juan, I wanna thank you for coming to Pronto. We appreciate Pronto's partnership with MBK. I think their program is outstanding. Thank you, Sylvia Ballmer. Thank you, Tevin.